Somebody once told me, what am I going to use a university education to do? I said, first of all, have it. One day you will see what is in the level. First, I said, first of all, have it. First of all, have it. Just gather knowledge as much as possible. Especially in the areas. Don't forget one of the last things that I said in, in the working knowledge, which is last month, is that we are not just looking for knowledge just anyhow. Look at certain areas of your life that are not working well. That you know that even in the next 20 years, nothing will make it work well except certain things are changed. And things, he said, I can only change your life if I can change your thought. Thinking the same way and expecting different results, they say is the first way. It's the first sign to know that somebody has run mad when the spirit of insanity is on a person. A lot of the time I sit down in the office, Lord, something has to be done differently. Something has to be done differently. Are, are you listening to what I'm saying? If there's no sifting of my thought, there will not be sifting of the narratives of my life. Something has to be done differently. So it makes me do three, three things. Number one, I consult God. Keep praying to God. Number two, I consult materials. Because you want to know what am I doing in the office a lot of them. I consult a lot of materials. Number three, I listen to what people are saying. Even when you think that I'm not listening, I'm really listening. Because a lot of the time God sends angels and a lot of the time angels knock you on the head. You didn't hear what I said. I know you didn't want that one. Angels knock you on the head. It's, always, it's not always the sweetest thing that angels say. Oh, great idea. If you are the one at this your age, at around age 14 was when an, when an angel entered into the life of uh, Mary and said, hey Mary, most beloved among God women, you'll be pregnant. Your husband has not married her. If that will happen to you, how will you be? Said an angel, even at this point that some of you are married, angel just came and said, hey, you'll be pregnant. He said, but husband is not doing anything. He said, don't worry. When you're, pregnant, when you're pregnant, just explain to him. <laughs> you know, like I was talking to a guy today and I said, uh, some of you will be married to people that um, have some character, hard character that they're just dealing with. I said, one of the, one of the most hilarious behavioral patterns that I've ever come across in my life that I cannot allow my daughter to stay in that person's house for one more week is Abraham's home. Everywhere he was denying this girl. How many of you would want to marry that kind of a person? Dockers. <laughs> Everywhere Abraham was denying this girl. Say it's not my wife. And the king will actually take this girl and get it to the woman and cause of her kiss on the forehead. <laughs> And he's still going to do it again. And this guy was different. <laughs> are you listening to what I'm saying? And so, so I listen to what people are saying. I listen. When you finish talking to me, I go inside the room I need them. A lot of the times. If you spoke by the flesh and in a very prideful way, I'm coming back to you. I'm coming back to you. If you spoke well and it is the things of... I, I come back to you because of your life, not because of me. Not because of me. I used to tell people, I say, if husband and wife, especially in Africa, were outside, and the husband spoke harshly on the wife and said, come on, let's get in, let's go away from here, whatever, whatever. Ah, people will say he's hard on his wife, isn't it? That this guy is hard on his wife, ah, he's making noise on his wife. But if he were to be the wife making such noise, especially in African setting, they say that's a witch. <laughs> and the husband is also swallowing. As soon as the wife says, come on! John, let go here, you dummy head. And the husband is following. <laughs> Something goes wrong with the presentation and the face of the wife in the community. Everybody will begin to take their children off and say, This is a witch. If she commands her husband like this. But if it's the husband that is commanding the wife, it's not a witch. They say it's just hard. And they can now even beg, yeah, Daddy, come me. Please, cool down little by little. This is your wife is young, you know, you know. But if it's the wife, nobody will even say anything. 
Everybody will just take their children. <laughs> Even all the husband will tell all their wives, say, don't go to let me get that's a widow. He, as soon as he commands the husband, that's the end. That the husband will be going around like leaves like this. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So I, I listen to people so that I'll be able to change my mindset. You cannot change anything until your mindset is changed. And little by little, your mindset get changed as you get new set of information. It's so important that you understand this. You can't keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. You can't. I, I wrote a message many years ago. I said, some of you uh, women are looking, at, especially I was writing to some of those women who have ministries. I said, you are looking for husband. Yet, every man that comes into your church is my son in the Lord. You think any of your sons in the Lord will be bold enough to say, oh mama, I want to be your husband. <laughs> no. No. Why can't you come down and become friends of everyone? You are not married now. Don't let anybody be your son in the Lord. <laughs> no, the most serious. You're not married. It was actually the idea God gave me that time when, he told, when God let me know that he was a young person I was going to marry. So there's no need to leave my beard white and grown like this. And then I just appear to somebody say, the Lord say I'm the... The person will have run away for three years before hearing that it was really God. So I, I, I clean off everywhere. I read many things even on Google. How do we relate with the younger generation? What lingua do we, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we, um, do we apply? You won't, in the midst of young people, you won't be saying, how are you daughter? How are you son? How are you? The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. No. You sit down and he do not together and say, what are you thinking, man? <laughs> Otherwise, how are you son? How are you daughter? We produce a lot of fake people that have two faces. That is a face of, hey, good morning, daddy. Good morning, baby. Ah, mommy, ah. And then they come to the altar. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. There. When, when they get to turn up, they get nasty. <laughs> they have two faces. But you want to get with young people, you come down to their level, buy a cupcake, and start eating together, and start asking questions, who is your boyfriend? And say, Pastor, no, we can't be talking that. <laughs> it's not church thing. They say, tell me. <laughs> because if they don't tell you who their boyfriend or girlfriend is, you won't be able to put them on the right track. You see, so you stand a very great chance of being a man of understanding and I'm understanding I have strength. If you are somebody who gather in the area, look at the areas of difficulty, you've got to sit down. You look at the areas of difficulties, you will have already been seeing it.